is Osh, Osh, Okakarara where we started. And uh, Okakarara is very important because that's where Ohamakari is. The place where the, the last battle was fought between the German soldiers and the Ovahero people. Uh, from there, actually, now that is when they started fleeing and they fled through this route here from Okakarara up to Oshinene. Where we are in the Namibian country is northeast of Windhoek in a place called Oshinene. And then in a small place again called Odombudo Vindimba. Odombudo Vindimba simply means wells of poison, if I may sum it up. And uh, this is one of the wells. When the, 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 the people arrived in this area, because of the water that was amassed here, they started drinking, they started trying to also give it to their animals. But unfortunately, this water was already poisoned. And that's how they died here. And uh, uh, one of the few years when we started commemorating here, it was during the rainy season, and we tried to dig. As you can see, this is not even a meter deep. As you try to dig here, you come across bones of people. And uh, our elders, they decided, no, we should not do that. We should leave these things. But this is how, uh, you know, horrible it was. Our people, they died in numbers here. And then subsequently, as you move down towards uh, the, the eastern part of the country, that's when now you start, you know, the, the, the Omaheke area. That is the desert area. And it was delivered. This methodology was delivered. It was either to push these guys to die in the desert because of thirst, mm -hmm. thirst uh, 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 yeah. exhaustion, hunger, you name it. And they were weak that time <coughs> because they were not having food and some kids were on their backs. So you can't feed a baby only when the baby is on the back. So some are dying on the well, well mm -hmm. on the backs of their mothers. And the fathers was, and the fathers does not have anything to eat. So they was just trying to run away so that they can can have a place to stay. But otherwise they didn't see a place to stay because the Germans was following them. And they wanted to kill them. And they wanted to kill all the heroes in the Namas. Uh, those that survived would be those that were uh, like for instance moved towards the angolan side and some went into inside the, the the country but those options were quite limited because the order was very clear every second of october we come to this place to commemorate the extermination order which caused the destruction of the herero community now we are thinking about places such as flossenberg where you go there and everything is telling the story. That is our dream also to have something like that, that as soon as the person enters the gate, it, the place should tell the story itself of what happened here.